Season two of the Arsenal career mode has arrived. I am so excited to get going. Not only have I managed to fix the gameplay a little bit to my liking with the sliders in the last few episodes, I'm also very excited to share with you the new objectives for this season. We are looking a lot better off. Now, of course, my manager rating in the top left isn't looking good. We need to fix that. We need to do a couple of obje objectives really early on, I think, in the season. Why don't I just start with that now? I've got so much to get through in this first episode, including signings I want to make and all of that stuff. But uh, we'll start off with the objectives because, as I said, manager rating's poor. We need to do some of these as soon as we can. And thankfully, there are a few we can do right now. So, youth development. They want me to sign three players younger than 20 with their potential greater than the overall average of the players in that position in the team already. So that's maybe not something I can do straight away. It might be that we go with youth academy players. Um, I've sent out some scouts. I'll show you those in a minute. Um, I, I, I don't know why they want me to do four midfielders, but we can, we can get these done in the next few weeks in game, I would say. Brand exposure, though, this is the one that I want to complete as soon as possible. So a streak of 10 home games without defeat. I mean, it's, it's doable. We lost a few games at the Emirates last season, but I reckon we can do that. We just need to hope that we don't have, I don't know, Man City, Liverpool you know, tough teams in a row. What we need is maybe one or two big games in those 10 matches and then the, the rest are somewhat winnable. But the long-term one is the one I'm going to do super quickly. Within two seasons, although I'm going to do it in this window, sign three of the best players in the world. Now, can someone just explain to me how being 82 plus, 82 rated plus makes you one of the best players in the world? I disagree. I, I There must be well over 100 players that are 82 rated or more. Maybe more, 150, 200 players. Unbelievable, really. But we can do that very easily in this window. The three players I've got in mind are all 82 rated. So that kind of works. But now some bad news. As you'd expect, we have to win the Champions League and we have to win the league and win the FA Cup. So we are expected to do the treble this season. Thankfully, it's not critical. It's just a high priority. And if we get this critical one done, maybe we'll be okay if we don't quite win all three, but at least two out of three. I want to win the league and the FA Cup. The Champions League can come next season if that's something that we're going to really push for. This season, I want, I want the Premier League and I want the FA Cup. Financially, they want me to sign through three crucial players. Um, yeah, okay. I guess we can do that. Although the players I'm looking at, would they be crucial? Oh, I don't know. And make a profit of just over 100 million. It's a very low priority. I don't think I need to worry about that. So step one, sign three 82 rated players or more. Step two, youth academy players, get four midfielders. Um, maybe three of those midfielders will have a big potential and then that gets youth development done. So that's that's the plan. The rest of the object objectives are going to come at the end of the season. We have to wait. So Let's jump into my team. This is how we are looking. There is some international games going on right now, but obviously they'll be back in time for the start of the season. So straight away, I'm just going to be brutally honest. OK, there are two players that I signed last season that I don't want anymore. I know that sucks, but they were kind of signed because of the um, need to sign two. No, three it was, wasn't it? South American players. Jolinton, I, I like him. Okay, I think he's a good player, but I just don't think he he really... It, it doesn't feel right. I, I don't know how to explain it. I'm, I'm really happy to keep him, but I'm also quite happy to let him go. Um, Jorginho is going to be leaving. He is going to hopefully get a relatively good move away for a good amount of money. But then again, we've, we've got quite a lot of money. I'll show you shortly. Um, Henrique. I signed him literally because he was left-footed, he had a real face, and he was Brazilian. It just worked because of the objective, but I don't plan on keeping him. The idea, I think, is going to be sign someone to replace him and have him on the bench, and that player I want is Kubo. You guys know I wanted Kubo last season. It just didn't make sense to do that. Um, so I think Henrique for Kubo. That's what I'm probably going to try and do. Um... What else? Oh, Diamande. Um, I like Diamande because he is such a powerhouse and I signed him because Arsenal are looking at him in real life. 
but as usual the fact that he's not <laughs> it's not his real face and he doesn't he doesn't look right I, I don't know it's weird i might look to, i don't know i haven't decided but for sure we are going to replace henrique with kubo um and jorginho is going to leave as well and i want to get zubamendi he is the target that i'm going to go for so let me go ahead and show you my transfer hub and you'll see here that zubamendi 82 rated he is definitely coming in he will be the jorginho replacement kubo Swap for Henrique. That's two Real Sociedad players that I want to sign. And of course, we're going to go in and sign Raya. We're going to get him back. In terms of other players, I'm not saying I'm getting these players. They're just, they're there, okay? We have Freneda. Is that how you say it? He went to Sporting, but he was linked with Dortmund, Arsenal, plenty of other teams. Uh, he could be one for the future. And he's under 20 as well, so would count in the objective. And then I've got Gavi. I mean, <laughs> it's a lot. But if I do decide to replace Joel Linton, I need to have someone come in. My preferred option would be Paqueta, I think. I'm a big fan of Paqueta. And I regret not signing him last season. I went with Joel Linton instead. But maybe Paqueta could be a good choice. There is also Verts, But I've got a feeling people would be annoyed if I signed Gavi. He's he's not leaving Barcelona anytime soon, is he? But I just look at his stats and think, damn, he would be a lot of fun. So that's kind of like the, the fun side of career mode coming out for me in, instead of doing something somewhat realistic. I think Paqueta would be a really good choice. And again, I could just do a straight swap, Joel Linton for Paqueta. And you've got to remember, some people find it so annoying that I'm chopping and changing players, but... I think everyone does this in career mode. You've got to you, you've got to feel the players, otherwise it doesn't feel fun, okay? Some of them I'm not feeling, so I might make the this the decision to just do it. So, do we just do we just go for it? Wait, before we do. Um so, I've got some youth staff out scouting for academy players. I've got Logan Nixon here going to England for 9 months looking for anyone. And then I've got um, someone out in Brazil doing three months for any players. And then I've got someone going to Portugal. We sign a lot of Brazilians and Portuguese players. I thought I will continue that trend just for three months, though. And then we'll swap it up, maybe go to Spain, France, whatever. But um, I'm looking for a goalkeeper. I'm looking for a left back. And obviously, we need some midfielders for the objective. So that's going to happen soon, I'm sure. I've also got my scouts... Um, taking a look for any players between the age of 23 to 27 with one year left on their contract to see if there's any potential beasts we could sign for free next season. And I am looking for a goalkeeper and midfielder as well. So we've got some scouts out looking for real players, that is. Okay, back into the transfer hub. Zubamendi is going to be first up. I really want him. We're not going to pay his release clause. We are going to offer Jorginho as part of the deal. But if they say no, I understand. And you can see my budget. I've got a massive 280 million almost. So this should be more than possible to get all the players I want. So I'm going to put in 20, uh, 10 million and then add in Jorginho, who should be worth about 20, I'd say. Yeah, 20.5. So that easily comes up to around the 30 million mark. Is it going to be enough? Close. So they would want 12.5 and a 10% sell-on clause. For that 10% sell-on clause, you can still have the 10 mil. How about that? I don't really want to include a sell-on clause. But there we go. I, I think that's a fair deal. And Jorginho will absolutely kill it over in Spain. So that's Zubamendi done. Should we do Kubo? And then we'll do all the contracts in one go. So Kubo has a release clause. Everyone in Spain does. Looks like we can get him for around 44. Okay, we're going to just begin negotiations. And this time it's going to be Henrique added in. 20 million. Okay, so I'm going to add... I'm going to be a bit more generous here. I'm going to throw in 20. So we're, we're over market value there. Just to get this deal done, I'm going to go 19.5, I think. Because of the 20.5 value. So we're at... 40 million. Should they accept that straight away? I would hope so. No, they want Ben White. Okay, so it looks like we're going to sell Henrique instead of swap. Um, I could exchange someone else, maybe. So there's Diomande and there's Joel Linton. They're the other players that I'd potentially be okay with losing. But there is also Tavares. He's worth 15. 
Okay, again, I'm going to go to that 40 million mark. With the 10% sell-on clause, let's try and remove it. Do they want Tavares? They do, but they want 40 million and the tension has flown up. I'm getting shafted here. I'm comfortable with 35. I, I would do 35. I've got the money to do it. Go on then. Ooh, 36.3. I'm not risking it. Just get that done. Lose a player. Get rid of Tavares because God knows how long it will take to get rid of some of these players. But that is now Zubamendi and Kubo ready to talk contract. Let's go Raya up next. We're looking at around 20 million to get Raya. I think that's about right. I'm just going to put in 17. 17 million, just below market value there. And they want Eddie Nketiah. I'm not prepared to do that. I don't plan on losing Nketiah just yet. Just yet. I'll go back in with 19.5. Come on then. 21.9. Let's, let's just meet at 20. Come on. 20 mil. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So that is the three players that I really want all signed up. Uh, well, not signed up, but ready to discuss, negoti negotiate contracts. I can't get my words out. Um, okay, I think we just do it. We negotiate each one by one here. Zubamendi is going to be up first. He's a huge signing for us. He won't start. We have Declan Rice there. But maybe Zubamendi could play the left centre mid right. I don't know. I'll think about that. But we are going to try and get him on. Oh, see, the objective wants me to do crucial. But he isn't a crucial player and I don't want to annoy him. Um, I'm, I'm just going to play it safe. I'm, I'm just going to play it safe. That's fine. Important is good. We'll try a five-year deal, of course, which he will accept. Don't need a release clause. He's on 33. He's coming to the Prem. He's going to need at least 60, isn't he? I'm just going to do 60. Whoa! I was way off. Okay. Uh, 75, and you can have 700 grand. How about that, Martin? Nice! We have another Martin. Martin Erdegaard and Martin Zubimendi. Brilliant. I'm really, really happy with him. So Zubimendi is a very Arteta-type player, I think. He's not particularly quick, but he's quick up here. His passing is unreal. He's going to be a seriously good player for us. And exactly what I'm looking for with Jorginho leaving... It's the perfect player to come in, I think. One rating lower than Jorginho, but he will quickly grow. He's still young. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Zubamendi is an Arsenal player. Now, did I do a good deal? What does the game think? I don't care if it doesn't agree with me, but I reckon that's at least a B. Oh, wow. Nice. Okay. Best possible deal was 29. That's not bad. And we're one out of three for the objective. So that has worked. So he goes onto the bench like that. Brilliant. I'm so, so happy with that. And he will be my new Thomas Partey, basically. And actually, maybe I'll give him the number five. But we're going to move on and do Kubo next. And I do need to put Enrique up for sale. I don't know if I've done that already. Let's negotiate Kubo's deal. I really, really want Kubo. I, I told you last season, he's the player I really wanted. So I'm going to go for it. He only wants rotation. He knows. He knows that Saka's way ahead of him. <laughs> um, Five-year deal as well. Oh, wait, he's over 20. He's over 23 years old now. Is that a problem? No, it wasn't. Sorry, I'm getting, my, I'm getting mixed up here. As long as he was 82 rated or more, it was fine. We don't need a release clause for him. So he's the same rating as Zubamendi. He's going to want a similar wage, isn't he? I'm going to try 60 again. And a nice little bonus up front. But if he was willing to take rotation, surely he'll take less money. No, he won't. He wants more. Is he is he deserving of more than Zubamendi? I guess I don't really have a choice. He won't be happy otherwise. 85 grand per week, 600 grand up front. He says no, he'll want 90. Oh, do you know what? I'm not risking it. Kubo is here. He's the one I'm so excited about. We will sell Henrique. Kubo is the new backup right winger, but he will play games. He will absolutely play games. Very, very excited about that. And he is our second Japanese player. We have Tomiyasu and we have Kubo. It's only a C. We were shafted, I think. We were shafted for sure. But 
Tavares goes the other way. He's a player that I wasn't going to use. I'm, I'm happy with that. So Henrique will be sold. Kubo is absolutely the better player. He's an explosive player. Really good pace. Great dribbling. His shooting and passing is really good as well. Welcome to Arsenal. He can play in that Erdegaard role as well, which I'm super excited about. And now for our third signing, we go with Raya. Should be relatively simple. I don't think he's going to want a crazy contract. Uh, Ramsdale is still my number one, but Raya happily comes in as my backup, which is crazy. Four-year deal for him. Don't need a release clause. That's fine. Okay, he's asked for 83,000. Let's try 75. We'll match uh, what other players are on roughly. And a big signing bonus as well. He wants 83. It's only green, the tension, so I'm pretty sure we can get him on 80. Just save that three grand, and there it is. Three signings, done. But most importantly, guys, one of the critical objectives is done as well. And that is, well, that's massive. I absolutely needed this. I really did. So Raya comes back in. I told you I'd get him. I wanted to get him last season. I wanted to make the loan permanent, but I wasn't able to do that. It's an excellent deal. And let's get confirmation of the objective, please. Yes, come on. I shall not be sacked. Okay, it's not happening. I refuse to be sacked. There he is. I'm really happy with that. I really am. The team is getting stronger. Um, just to update you on a few other things, though. Hein will be leaving. Norton Cuffey, I just don't think I'm going to be able to get him into the team with Tommy Asu, Timber and White all ahead of him. Um, Patino, I'm not decided on him yet. As usual, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan because he doesn't have his real face. I know it's annoying, guys, but it's just the way I am. I like players to have their real face. Uh, otherwise, I think we're good. It's just Mar um, Marquinhos. It's just um, Henrique that I need to sell. Um, do I look at Freneda? Do I really need him? Maybe not. Paquette. Oh, we'll, we'll come back to that. We've just made three signings. Um, let me just, just double check that that's definitely done. Yep, it is ticked. Okay, so now just get those 10 games at home without defeat, and that'll be huge. I've been getting quite a lot of offers coming in. Erdegaard to Bayern, no. 87 rated now, by the way, Erdegaard, so he's gone back up since his injury. I had an offer from Chelsea for Timber, blocked instantly. Norton Cuffey, looks like he could be going to Norwich. Hein has two offers from Swansea and Coventry, I believe that is. And uh, I had an offer for Diomande, but I, I don't think I want to sell him. The thing is, right, although I really don't like using players without real faces, it's not the end of the world. And I do think sometimes I need to just get over that. Am I the only one who gets bothered by it, though? There must be some people out there that are like me and they just want to use players that have their real likeness, you know? Oh, oh, OK, it's Norton Cuffey. He is leaving the club. I don't like doing that, by the way, because he is such a great young talent. But I just don't see how I get him enough game time. I'd actually rather see... If I come up against Norwich, Norton Cuffey bombing down the right, killing me, you know? So it's fine. We got a good price for him and he gets to go and play first team football. All the best to him. Uh, it looks like we had some other offers come in. Yeah, Saliba. Hang on. They're offering me Jaden Sancho plus 30 million. <coughs> Sorry, you're making me feel a bit sick there. Blocked. Jaden Sancho is a great player. But I'd want 100 million plus Jaden Sancho. <laughs> At least. There's no way I would ever, ever let that happen. Uh, Hein has now been sold. I think he's gone to Swansea. Yep, that's a great move for him. We do need a different goalkeeper. I'm going to get a Youth Academy one, though, I think. We could have got 400 grand more. Whatever. That's absolutely fine by me. So we're starting to sell a few players. I haven't had an offer come in for Henrique yet, though. Um, okay, cool. So we've got... Fresnader, Frenader, he's got his uh, scout report back. Honestly, not as high rated as I thought, but the fact that he's 19 and he contributes to the objective does kind of excite me a little bit because he's a player that I know Arsenal looked at. It, it's, it's not like a, a super unrealistic signing. So maybe, maybe, I, maybe I just get him in. 8 million? Yeah, come on then. Let's get Frenada in. Maybe I can offer Henrique. <laughs> That's awful. Henrique's worth so much more. So I've got quite a few fullbacks, but obviously I see more uh, Ben White as a centre-back as well. So I don't really count him. 
Um, strikers, I'm happy. Wingers, other than Henrique, I'm happy. I mean, Marquinhos, eh, I'm going to keep him, I think. Midfielders, Patino, Laconga. I mean, Laconga, am I ever going to use him? I think I might keep him for the first season here because we've lost El Nenny as well. Or well, the second season, sorry. I'm just going to offer money, I think, for this one. And I'm going to go in with his market value, 7.5 million. And let's bring him to the Emirates. Oh, they want a chunky sell-on clause. No. I'll give you 8.2, though. 8.9, tension's high, boom. Take it. I'm going to get him in, and it contributes towards one of my objectives, and that's always a good thing. And he's got a real face in the game. I love it. So let's give him a, a much better contract than he's on right now. He's going to be a prospect. He wants sporadic. Do you know what? He will get game time. He actually will. He's a good young player. Give me a five-year deal. Shame I can't do a Chelsea and offer him 10. That would have been nice. Uh, he doesn't want to release clause. That's obviously fine by me. Wage. I'm going to bump him up to 20 grand. He's young, but he deserves it. He wants more. He wants 39 grand. Do you know what? Go and buy yourself a nice little flat in London, mate. <laughs> Although 39 grand wouldn't get you far. He's going to be very happy here in London. Welcome to Arsenal. This is where he should have gone, I think. He would have been a great signing for us, but I've done it in career mode. And as I said, he contributes to an objective, which means I don't have to get four Youth Academy players. And uh, there it is. One out of three, signed three players younger than 20. So really happy with that. He's a great signing. And um, he just adds to the quality we've already got. We have a pre-season tournament invite. What do I do here? Do I go for just the most money? I mean, they're all four stars. Actually, no. Champions trophies, three and a half stars. I mean, that is so winnable. It's quite scary. I'm, I'm going to do it. I'd normally take just, you know, the most money. But I don't really win pre-season tournaments very often. So I'm just going to go for it with the cheaper one. Um, Hincapié transfer offer. Blocked. I absolutely love him. He's he's a first-team player. He plays ahead of Zinchenko now. He's almost a left-back. I'm waiting. I think it's another 10 weeks, 15 weeks for him to become a proper left-back. Oh. <clears throat> Newcastle. <laughs> 121 million for Gabriel Martinelli. Blocked. No chance. No, no, no. And we've got interest in Paqueta. 37. Wow, that's cheap. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm kind of interested in doing a swap. Jolinton for Paqueta. I should have done it last season. It's one of my regrets. I should have got Paqueta. 37 million. That is, a, that is actually a bargain. That is actually a bargain. Would they be interested in Jolinton? And I'm really sorry if people find this annoying, but it's just a straight swap. I just want Paqueta instead of Jolinton. I know I'll be happier with that. How much is Jolinton worth? 39.5. A straight swap. Come on. Straight swap. Do it. It's like it was meant to be. I should have got... I really should have done it. I, I don't know what happened. I think I saw Jolinton score against us. And I just thought, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get him. But Paqueta is the better fit. He, We've been linked with Paqueta before. You know I love that. Signing players that we've been linked with. And he is literally perfect for that Granite Xhaka role. That number eight role. Oh, yeah. Guys, I'm just doing it. And this is it. The last signing I'm going to make this season um, in terms of real players. Obviously, Youth Academy players will come in as well. He only wants rotation, bro. Yes. That's great. You're a crucial player, though. Maybe I should... Oh, I should have given him crucial. <laughs> oh, well. Five-year deal for Lucas Paqueta as well. No need for a release clause. Oh, my God. He's cheap. Guys, this is unreal. What a bargain. A straight swap. Come on then, 80 grand per week, 750 up front. <clears throat> done, done deal. Oh, I'm so happy I've done that. I was, I'm not gonna lie to you. I always get a bit nervous if I'm doing too much. But the reality is, is I've swapped a player I signed. So it, it's, I think it's okay. And I hope you guys understand that sometimes you make a signing and it just doesn't feel right. I shoehorned Jolington in. He was great. He's a very, very good player, right? But it didn't feel right as soon as I put him in the team. And I, I just don't know. It, Paqueta makes more sense. He's going to go into my team. A swap with Jolington. It is perfect. And uh, we've gone from one Brazilian to another. It's a B. I can, I can accept that. 
So let's put him into the team. He is out of position, but we're going to train him to be a, um, a center mid instead. So let's just remove a few players, move a few players around on the reserves there. Man, this squad is getting real tidy real quick. He only gets a plus one at the moment, but obviously his sharpness isn't top. He is going to be insane. I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm so excited about Paqueta. I'm almost more excited about him than anyone else. So let me go into my squad hub and let's just train him. I don't use the, the development stuff very much in this career mode, as you guys know. Um, number 17 is available. Should I give that to Paqueta? What else do we have? 26. Mm, I gave number 5 to Zubamendi. 22 to Raya. I think, I think 17 makes most sense, doesn't it? Oh, I'm so excited, guys. I really am. I love this. I absolutely love this. So we will change him into a central midfielder. It's going to take 29 weeks. Absolutely fine by me. And that way, he's going to get the maximum bonus stats. We have the start of our pre-season tournament. Fiorentina up first. Let's go ahead and get a few debuts, shall we? Let's take Saka out and put Kubo in. Zubamendi in for Rice. Paqueta's going to start. Shall I put Freneda in as well? He doesn't even come up as a suggested sub because we've got so many wingbacks. Um, where is he? There he is, 74 rated. That's honest. He's fine. He's going to do absolutely fine for us. Incapier can start this one. Uh, let's go with Kivior and let's go Raya as well. Okay, quick sim against Fiorentina and we get a one all draw. So that means we're not going to win the preseason tournament then. There's always a team that wins every game. Looks like it'll be Dortmund, let's be honest. <laughs> but at least we got a few players getting their debuts there. And we'll do the same here. Just swap up the team against Athletic Bilbao. Almost called them Atletico Madrid there. So for this one, we'll go with uh, Ferguson. We'll go with... Uh, let's go... Nelson. Let's take out Erdegaard. Let's put in... Smith Rowe and Havertz and then uh, Diomande for this one. Let's go Zinchenko. Just just swapping up the team. Quick sim and it's a 1-0 loss <clears throat> in the 88th minute. Cool. Preseason tournaments are dumb. <laughs> no, I'm using it for match sharpness more than anything. We've got some emails here. Uh, okay. So most players are developing very well here and kind of finishing up. I don't think Diamande is going to improve anymore is what they're saying there. We've got an offer for Jesus from Bayern. Wait, what? They're offering me 59 million. I can get up to probably almost 80. Blocked. Go away. No way that's happening. Oh, it's time. My first monthly scouting reports. I haven't done any of this in the new game. So ideally, I'm looking for midfielders. Um, and they need to have a really strong potential. I'm not seeing anyone crazy. Oh, Hugo Martins, goalie. Ooh. Um, 775 grand he's worth. 675. 120. Okay, I'll take Hugo Martins. Sign him up. Um, I'm going to reject some of these guys here that are just quite simply not good enough. I don't, don't really want him. Or him. I mean, Castro eh, looks okay. If he's a midfielder, it just, I mean, I don't have to use these players. It could be just that I sign them for the youth, youth academy objective and then release them to our reserves team, you know? <laughs> okay, we'll scout those guys further. Moving on to Brazil now. Ribeiro. Ooh, Mercado. He could be decent. Oh, his value's a little bit low. Value gives you a really good indication on how good a player is. He's probably the best one here. I'm just going to sign him up. Reject him. Reject him. A Rao How? Mm. No. His overall was very low. Brazil has not paid out, but now we have England. Straight away, we have Lucas Wilkinson here. There's not many. Okay, Naylor. Oh, he's worth 1.3 mil. Sign him up. Jacobs. Mm, I mean, he looks like a midfielder. He has decent potential. All right, we'll sign him up as well. Reject. 
Reject. Reject. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't have to sign them into the team. Yes. That's so good. Okay. That's really good. Look at my manager rating. It has come all the way up from 54, was it? Or 55? Up to 69 already. That is so, so good. I just need to sign two of them that have a really strong potential and we will get that short term youth development one done as well. Oh, guys, things are looking up. This is good. This is real good. We'll get the last preseason game out of the way here. Um, again, we'll change up the team. Just I don't want any big injuries or anything like that. Kivior, Raya, um, Zubamendi. Let's go. And Ketia, um, Tomiyasu, Trossard. <laughs> I'm just putting anyone in at this point. Uh, Vieira at left wing. Why not? Because it doesn't matter. We've already failed this tournament. We got a 2-0 win there. Fabio Vieira actually scored as a left winger. And Kivior got a goal as well. Fantastic. But of course, the preseason tournament doesn't really go very well for us. Um, Liverpool up next. That is our first game of the season. Oh, Man City have come in for Saka. I'm sadly going to have to go ahead and accept this offer, guys, because of real... No, I'm kidding. Blocked. Get out of here. Stupid club. Um, okay, so we haven't got many scouted players in Germany. Okay. That's fine. We're going to jump into this game against Liverpool. With the sliders still in play, it makes it so much better. Oh, Juventus want Ferguson. Blocked. Nope, that's not happening. Let's just get into this game. I'm giving you a long episode for Season 2, Episode 1. Is that the team I'm going to start with? I think that's my strongest team, isn't it? I don't think it gets stronger than that. Um, I kind of want to give Zubimendi a go, but maybe in the second half I'll bring him and Kubo on. Uh, is there anyone else that I really want to use? I wouldn't mind trying to see how Frenada gets on. Let's give Ben White a rest today. Anyone else? I mean, we've got Tierney back as well. Mustn't forget Tierney is back in the team now. I think we'll just go with this. Okay, Liverpool is our first game. Not exactly ideal, is it? Uh, and let's get that. Oh, my God. Van Dijk, are you okay? What's happened? Have you dyed your hair? <laughs> uh, we'll play against them in their away kit, their Minecraft kit. We are back at the Emirates. A brand new season kicks off. We simply have to improve this season. We need to win the title. Ideally, we win the Premier League. Oh, I should have used the purple kit. It's not too bad, but the fact they've got white socks, that would be... I don't think that'd be allowed, would it? You can't have the same colour socks. Either way, I can, I can see fine. Just again, a reminder, if you want to use the sliders I'm using... Go back to Thursday's episode and you can have a link. Well, it's on my Twitter, to be fair. Just go on my Twitter or my X profile, excuse me, and uh, you can see the sliders I'm using. And there's a website that hosts them and they change them every now and again. I believe there's a new one coming out soon, so you can try them as well. It's a group of guys that just play around with sliders until it feels really good. So, yeah, it's, um, it's made the game so much better for me. I really, really like it. Paqueta's first competitive touch. He's actually made a run here. I'm going to try and pick him out. Nice. Jesus now. Oh, hello. Jesus straight into Vandenberg. They're playing a slightly weaker side here, aren't they? I noticed they had another young player in, uh, in midfield. Hello. Timber. Oh, win the header. That was going in, wasn't it? Timber almost scored. Oh, and Timber's made the tackle there. Into Jesus. Oh, what a ball. Across again. Oh, I'm not going to get there with Gabby, who, of course, scored the winner against City yesterday. I'm still buzzing about that. What a result. Absolutely huge. Don't forget about the objective as well, guys. Do not lose at the Emirates. I need 10 games in a row without a loss at home. Is that possible? Yes, of course it's possible. Is it going to be extremely difficult? Yes, of course it's going to be extremely difficult. That could be a red. That could be a red. Send him off. Who was it? Was it Salah? I think it was. Oh, no. It's just a yellow. A yellow card for Salah going in behind. It was a dodgy tackle. Bit of a Kovacic moment there. I'm still fuming that Kovacic wasn't sent off yesterday. But whatever. We won the game, right? That's all that matters. 
That's what people are saying. No, it doesn't matter that we won the game. Justice must be served. We've still got about 10 minutes to go until half time here. Poke that through for Martinelli. Nice. Into the box. Go on. Oh, Saka. He's, he's winning headers. He does win headers like that, but it doesn't seem like he's very good at guiding the headers. <laughs> half time, guys. We have three shots to their zero, but they are dominating the ball. We need to hold the ball better. We need to keep possession a little bit more. Slow myself down. I am definitely sprinting too much. I need to get the ball with Rice, Paqueta, Erdegaard. Just pass it around a little bit more. And in moments like this where I'm building up, just don't always go for the direct option. I can build up a little bit more slowly. There is no rush. Onside. Saka is onside. He's up against a very inexperienced defender. But the inexperienced defender wins. I'm surprised. I thought I could cut in there. That's so frustrating. If I get on the on the left foot, I reckon I'm potentially 1-0 up. And now we've got more defending to do. Jota, who scored how many against me last year? Last season? That was insane. Please don't. Please don't. No, that's offside. He's a mile off. Yeah, thank you. That's not good. Oh, my God. Ramsdale, what a save. I think at this point, with Liverpool looking a little bit better, I'm going to make a change. I think Timber's going to come off, and I'm going to bring in Freneda. I want to give him a go. Paqueta's tired. Let's bring in Vieira. Kubo for Saka as well. I just want to use him. And you know what? I'm going to bring in Ferguson as well. I need to get Ferguson a little bit higher rated. He is the future of that striker position. Kubo's number 20, by the way. I thought that kind of suited him. Oh, hello. Hello. What is Hincapié doing here? Through for Martinelli, maybe? Oh, that's got to be a foul. Thank you. And technically, I would argue, a red. Here's Declan Rice, though. We're playing into the box here. Oh, and Van Dijk does what he does best. Stops everything. This game just has nil-nil written all over it, doesn't it? It really does. I wouldn't be too disappointed with a nil-nil. As long as I don't lose at home right now, I'm probably going to be quite happy. <laughs> I just need that objective to be done. But um, maybe we can nick a winner. I don't know. Let's see. I'm just so worried I'm going to get to like the ninth, tenth game at home. And I'm so close to getting the object objective done. And then I concede. That would, or lose, I mean. That would suck. Here is Ferguson. Got Kubo ahead of him. First time really trying Kubo out. Bit of skill. Oh, please. Oh. I mean, it was on target. Maybe a little bit more power would have would have helped. I should win that. Nice. Erdegaard. Overlap. Freneda. Oh my god. What a chance. And I fluffed it. Oh, and I've slid in. Oh, this is bad. Luis Diaz here. Come on, defend. Honestly, these sliders make the game so much tighter. Oh, what have I just done? Okay, we're good. Panic over. Kubo. Over the top. Gabriel Martinelli. On the inside. Oh. Kubo, please. Yes. Kubo. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The Japanese Messi. <laughs> that is an insane goal. What a time to score it. Did you see how accurate that was into the top right corner? Oh, my God. Saka who? <laughs> this is a huge goal. Amazing. 88th minute. Oh, it, it is literally into the top corner. What a beautiful finish from Kubo. Welcome to North London. Oh, my God. What a moment. Absolutely huge. A 1-0 win at the Emirates against Liverpool. Oh, We've won it. We could actually get a second here. Come on then, let's go. Incapier, who's been flawless today, by the way. Such a good player. At left back as well. Like He's definitely more of a centre back, but it works. Oh my God. No. Kubo again. Oh, he has been insane since he's come on. So good. Do I waste time? No. We whip it in. Go on. Go on. It was offside, I think. But there it is, guys. First episode of season two, and I don't think it could have gone much better. We made some incredible signings. 
We've got some objectives done. And we've beaten Liverpool at home with an 88th minute winner from a debut performance from heaven. Kubo, welcome to North London. As I said, he's going to be some player, isn't he? We've just had a loan offer come in for Marquinhos. I'm actually going to go ahead and allow this, but I just want it to be for one year. Because I reckon next season, he's going to be, what, 77, 78 rated, something like that. I'm going to allow him to go to the Bundesliga there. That's uh, a good move for him. Well done, Hincapié. Sorry, Trossard. Maybe another time. Oh, outstanding, Kubo. What a moment for him. So, in the next episode... Oh, wait, hang on. Chelsea, swap deal. Uh, <clears throat> moving on. In the next episode, we'll be taking on West Ham. And I believe after that, it was Newcastle. So, some really tough games coming up. And there is confirmation that Marquinhos could be going if he accepts the contract. But um, that's it for episode one. So, so happy with the progress we've made already in season two. Things are looking a lot better. Look at my manager rating. Oh my God. We have gone into the green. Oh, amazing. Thank you for watching, guys. And I will see you for episode two tomorrow.